The seventh generation of the model, Passat B7 got to us in 2011. Technically, the car largely repeated the B6, inheriting from it the dimensions, chassis and some powertrains. Even the prices have not gone up. Both bodies, both sedan and station wagon, were imported from Germany. Perhaps that is why we still have no serious complaints about galvanized iron and the quality of the paintwork. Only chrome elements noticeably suffer from reagents, but autochemistry is still able today to return some of its former brilliance in not particularly neglected cases. Noise isolation is traditionally good, but there is where to come from in the cabin itself. Crickets settle in the dashboard, in the rear doors, in the steering column switches. The quality is no more. He does not like B7 and our frosts, electric mirrors lose their mobility even at slight sub-zero temperatures. The glitches of the electric power steering, which can suddenly become a stake, can also be attributed to purely winder failures. You will need to restart the engine or completely flash the electronics. In the cold, he does not like to switch from first to second and six speed mechanics. However, this is its only serious drawback. Works reliably. Instead of an automatic, the B7 offered pre-selective DSG robots. You should not panic from their appearance, just keep in mind that the most reliable of them is the 6-speed DQ250 unit, whose two clutches work in an oil bath. Whereas its 7-speed dry counterpart is nervous at low speeds, which is immediately felt good. It happened that they were sent for repairs already at 20 to 30,000 kilometers. It's not easy with motors. There are many of them, so there is a choice problem. Gasoline TSIs are not among the leaders in reliability, so you need to look at the condition of each specific engine. For example, the 1.4 does a great job, but messes around mixing gasoline into the oil. And in general, DSI, invented to save fuel, with their whims and expensive repairs, can completely discourage the love of the environment. Here you will not be bored with oil consumption, and a two-component, turbine plus mechanical supercharger, twin charger, and a chain tensioner along with a damper, and the chain itself is not averse to stretching. For example, in the operation of 1.8 DSI, Many people do not like the floating speed, which sometimes drops so low that the vibration from the engine is transferred to the body. Much rarer was a 2-liter gasoline turbo engine. About the 300 horsepower engine and not worth talking about. There are no all-wheel drive versions with such an engine on the market, although the engine is considered trouble-free. But we could really recommend a 170 horsepower 2-liter diesel engine, which has adapted well to the difficult Ukrainian conditions. If you are not confused by noisy work with sometimes noticeable vibration, take it safely. With excellent traction, the engine skillfully saves fuel and does not give into a cold start in the cold. In terms of electrical equipment in general, nothing critical and massive, with the exception of the already mentioned problems with the steering wheel and troubles with folding electric mirrors, have not been identified. But there are complaints about the suspension, and sometimes even from the owners of still very fresh cars. The Passat handles fun and holds the road well but that discipline comes at the price of vulnerable suspension parts. So, already on a run of about 25,000 kilometers, one can expect betrayal of thrust bearings, silent blocks of the front levers, but more often than others, the stabilizer struts, both front and rear, make themselves felt. All these misfortunes are diagnosed by a characteristic knock. One thing pleases, in general, components for the B7 that are not very cheap from official dealers are presented in abundance on the market and often high quality components can be bought at half the price but in any case the purchase of a car should be preceded by a check into the lift and the service looking at the car from below we assure you it will not be difficult to find reasons for bargaining alas gone are the days when passat was bought in many respects in order to be safe from possible surprises b7 is very comfortable and good on the go but today it can hardly be called a guarantor of reliability and we see the reasons for such decadence only in technical progress. A potential buyer can be advised to be careful when choosing an engine, not to run on a version with a two-fuel engine, you won't get any problems, and also, if possible, bypass cars equipped with a capricious 7-speed DSG robot with a dry clutch housing. The 122 and 152 horsepower gasoline engines with a manual gearbox look good, but our choice is still the most reliable 2-liter diesel engine, the history of which can be studied at official dealers. In any case, the choice of Passat B7 must be approached responsibly.